Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of our Pokedex completion in the TCG. Now, last time in this beautiful binder we managed to add 44 cards, which is almost 5% of the Pokedex. And remember, we're completing everyone from Bulbasaur all the way to Enamorous. So, just a quick reminder of the rules. Pokémon featured in trainer cards, or other Pokémon's cards, do not count. Also, we're not buying any individual cards, we have to get them all from random booster packs. And finally, we just need one of each Pokémon. So, Pokémon with multiple forms, like Voltorb, we just need Cantonian or Hisuian Voltorb. One or the other, but not both. And you'll see here, I have another trusty stacking tin. Now, I didn't mention this last time, but I've actually pre-opened these and inserted my own packs, just for the fun of it. So, this week, we have four packs. The first pack, Brilliant Stars. Next up, we have Chilling Rain, and another Fusion Strike pack, and we'll finish off with Evolving Skies. So, let's continue catching them all. And we have our first Brilliant Stars pack, so let's get right into it. Let's flip it over and see the first card. And, oh, it's Impidimp. I think we have this exact card already. So, we will just put that off to the side. Who could it be? Oh, it's Chinchino. I actually don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, because I didn't watch a lot of black and white. But, this is a new card, a new Pokémon for the decks. And, it's Burmy! Burmy's also a new Pokémon. And yeah, all the types are on the same card, which is kind of cool. So even though we weren't going to collect all the different forms, it looks like we kind of accidentally did. And Spiritomb, a brand new card. Gen 4 Pokémon, and actually one that's kind of really hard to get in the games. The next card is a Fire type. And it's Magmar! That's pretty cool. Our first Gen 1 Pokémon of the pack. Oh, its attack is Crab Hammer. I wonder who it could be. It's Corphish! I think I predicted we'd get Corphish in the last video. But here we have Corphish now. And we have our Hollow. Looks like it's a reverse Hollow for this pack. And it's Floatzel! I like Floatzel a lot. Weasel's pretty much cuter, though. And our next card. I don't think this is a Pokémon. Oh, it's Cynthia. So definitely not a Pokémon and not a card we can include in our Pokédex. Next up, oh, it's an energy card. We have... Dusclops. Now, we already have a Dusclops in our Pokédex, but I don't think we have this Dusclops. So, I'll put this in my personal collection. And last card is a Trainer card. Second, we have our Chilling Rain pack. Alright, let's flip it over and see our first card. And it's Clobopus! I really like this Pokémon. It's very cute. It's a little boxing octopus. I find it a little bit weird. It's not water type, but it's still super cute, and I love its evolution. Next up is... Grookey! We have another starter, Gen 8. Grookey's one of my favorite starters from Gen 8, actually. I love Grookey and Sobble very much. I like how Grookey's a little drummer. Oh, it's Sneasel! Sneasel is probably among my favorite Gen 2 Pokémon, and I love that it got a Hisuian form in Legends Arceus. This is, of course, its uh, Jotonian variant, so that's the one we will add to our collection. Grass or Bug-type. And Bug-type Weedle. So, um, don't really have a lot to say about Weedle, but I really do love it. It's very cute, and Beedrill is one of my favorite bug Pokémon. Next up is... <gasps> Cast Form! Another example of a Pokémon we don't need to get multiple forms for. We got the rainy form of Cast Form. Very cute. Looks like another Water-type, a Reverse Hollow. And Lapras! Okay, that's pretty cool. I really like Lapras. And it's a holo card, so that's awesome. Next up is an electric type. Who is it? Oh, it's Ampharos! So last episode I was going on about how I love Ampharos, the entire line, and I love its Mega specifically. Um, but yeah, so now we're just looking for Mareep. Energy card, which we will discard. And then we have... Celio. Very cute. I think it's the first one we've gotten from the line. So now we're looking for Steel and Walrein. And our second last card of the pack is a Trainer card, and it's Melanie. Ice-type Gym Leader from Gen 8. I believe version exclusive to Shield, actually. And the last card, Dark-type, and Whirlipede. Oh, cool. I actually really like Whirlipede. I just kind of discovered this Pokémon without really knowing much about it when I first played Black 2, and honestly kind of fell in love with the entire line. So we're one-third of the way through completing that line. Our second last pack of the episode, Fusion Strike. Let's flip it over. And Wooloo. Okay, so we were just talking about Mareep, and we found the other sheep Pokémon, which I also love very much. 
I actually saw a plushie for it recently and I was kind of falling in love with it. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy it. And it's Gossifleur, a Gen 8 Pokemon. Kind of the Gen 8 grass Pokemon of the early game. Next up is water, possibly ice. It's Mudkip! My partner really loves Mudkip. I'm not as partial to Mudkip, I really do love it, but it also, this is another example of a card that has multiple Pokemon in it, but we already have Sandy Ghast, luckily. It's Sandshrew! Oh my god, okay. So I was kind of hoping we'd get a Lowland Sandshrew, but I really do love both Sandshrew forms. They're so cute. I like how they little wrap themselves up into a little ball. How can you not love this little face? Plus, it's one of the Plasticine cards, which I really, really love. Next up, it looks like it's a Steel type. Maybe normal? No, it's definitely Steel. Who is it? It's Q-Fan. Not my favorite of the two Elephant Pokemon, if I'm being honest. But I really like that this Pokemon was kind of foreshadowed in Raichu's Dex entry early in the series. Oh, looks like our reverse holo of the pack is also a steel type. Who is it? <gasps> Meltan! Okay, so there are three steel types with one eye. And, well, we haven't found Magnemite or Beldum yet, but we have found Meltan, and Meltan's just so adorable. How can you not fall in love with that little face, that little eyeball? Electric type? It's Electros, who is finally coming back to the regional decks in Gen 9. And our obligatory energy card which we will discard. Shut up, Zoe. A trainer card. And then... Graveler! Another Gen 1 Pokémon. Another Pokémon with multiple forms, and we have the Cantonian form for this particular Pokémon. And our last card... Looks like it's a Psychic type. And it's Musharna, another Pokémon that was foreshadowed by an NPC early on in Pokémon Red and Blue. It's Evolving Skies, our last pack of the episode. And let's see what it is. It's Mareep! So we've actually completed the Mareep line now. We have all three of them in the first two episodes. Look how cute that little sheep is. So we're actually only missing one sheep Pokemon in total. That's pretty exciting. Looks like it's a dragon type card. I think our first one of the entire series. It's Dino! I know a lot of people argue about the pronunciation of this Pokemon, but I think the joke or the pun only works if you call it Dino. Next up is a grass or bug type. And it's Hoppip! I think this line is really cute because it's a hop, skip, and a jump away. Looks like it's a water type next. And it's Tentacool. I actually found a shiny Tentacool in Pokemon Go pretty recently. That was exciting because I've been looking for one for a while. And I found it at full odds. Dark type is next. And it's Zorua. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish we could find a Hisui in Zorua. But I'll take regular Zorua too because it's also really cute. We've got a hollow dragon type card. That's really exciting. Who is it? Oh, it's Hydreigon. Again, another Pokemon that kind of gets mispronounced a little bit, but the pun only works if you say Hydreigon. Hydra and Dragon. And we already have two thirds of the line just in one pack. Next up is water type, maybe ice. It's Milotic. I spent quite a while hunting for a shiny Milotic in Omega Ruby and eventually found a shiny Feebas, which was really cool. Anyway, I really like Milotic. I like that we have it in the Pokedex this early on. All right. And that's our energy card. Don't worry, I will not make the joke. Lantern! I really like Lantern. I kind of didn't know it existed until I ran upon it, like, randomly in Pokémon Gold and Silver, like, 20 years ago. Looks like it's a normal type, I think. I can never really tell between normal and steel sometimes. And, oh, it's Fletchinder, which is awesome. I actually found a shiny Fletchinder in a raid in Pokémon Sword. And our final card is... Hypno, a Gen 1 Pokemon, and our last card of the episode. So far we found 80 cards, that's 8.8% of the total Pokedex. 
Which card do you think we're going to find in the next episode? Leave a comment down below and I'll see you all next time.